We're also giving away a pass to one super lucky viewer. It is a Summerfest Power Pass. And trust me when I say you're going to be the envy of all your friends and everyone else at the festival who doesn't have one. Mm -hmm. So we want to know what's happening at Summerfest number 50. That's right. Here's the guy who plans the largest musical festival on the planet. It's Bob Babish, Vice President of Entertainment for Summerfest. Hi, guys. You're Great the man behind you. it all. I came here to talk music, but I want to talk eggs. <laughs> Did Brown eggs, white it? eggs, the earlobe, that's impressive stuff. Did the you earlobe. know? I knew you nothing about that, that. Never yeah. heard that before. It's the earlobe. Before we start, uh -huh. every year. Oh, God. Uh -oh. You literally make us 11 day power passes, one for each. Day. You got to get your own power pass. And one to give away. Oh, so we each get one, and here's one we're giving away. We're giving you so away you're gonna just stay a little tuned. bit. That's so awesome. Okay, here's yours, Tiff. Thank you very and much. And I'll hang on to the one for the lucky viewer. Keep that That's in the super safe awesome. Spot. Okay. I like that. There we go. Power. All right, so 2017 lineup. Huge deal. This is your favorite. Great fun. Uh, edition of Summerfest. Yeah, kicking it off with the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and you've got them, you've got uh, Pink, you've got the Outlaw Music Festival you talked about, you've got the Chain Smokers, you've got Tom Petty and Chris Stapleton, you've got great acts. And a great acts across the board on the grounds, too. Yeah, so. it's huge. And we have a list, too, mm -hmm. that we're going to put up on the screen. Because on the opening day of Summerfest, the 28th of June is actually a Wednesday. Is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's a yep. Wednesday. That's the day that the Red Hot Chili Peppers are going to be performing. Yep, there they are. Then there's Luke Bryan, who's the next day, yeah. right? Yep. Paul Simon with special guest. Randy Carlisle. Yes. Yep. So that's going to be great a huge show. show. Great show. I just Super saw cool. the Zach Brown band in um, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And people should move fast on that because it's about to sell out. So I believe Ooh, it. Zach's Zach moving Brown quick. Yeah. Phenomenal. Okay. Yeah. Not surprised. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pink. Pink. Sold out already. Sold great out. show. My friends got tickets for that. Like I remember, like I mean, months and months and mm -hmm. months ago, it was sold out. No, people sh Pink. people should remember that we start releasing some tickets as we get closer because we hold tickets for oh, production mean? values and things okay. like that, and then okay. the band will call up and say. They release and we don't need them so nice and where yeah. do they find those on summerfest.com yeah summerfest okay. or ticketmaster.com even ticketmaster. better than that okay okay yeah. so then tom petty and the heartbreakers they're they're so good they're playing twice i've seen with, them at summerfest with before. chris stapleton with yes, chris stapleton they're huge. awesome they're playing on the 5th and the 6th of july um then you have um dirk bentley mm -hmm. and special guests mm -hmm. um that's on the 7th and then the 9th we were talking about outlaw Mm -hmm. um, that's the Outlaw Music Festival. It's Willie Nelson, oh my God, Bob Dylan, wait. Cheryl Crow. Um, who am I leaving out? Jason Isbell, Nathaniel Rayliff in the Night Sweats, Margot Price. Oh, oh my gosh. And Lucas Nelson. And it starts at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's pretty cool. Go all day starts at 2, talent. goes all day till about 11 o'clock, 11.15. Oh and people can come and go from the amphitheater if they, if they like. That's great. Great that's day, though. so fun. You book these big musical acts, and I know mm -hmm. you have a lot of connections. What is the reaction from some of the bigger names when, when you invite them or you want them to play at Summerfest? Well, some like to come here. Uh, one of the reasons, you know, we talk a lot about a couple of years ago, we had the Stones and we had um, Paul McCartney, yeah. and they like the vibe of the building. And most people that come into the amphitheater like the vibe of the building because the seats kind of go up real fast. They mm -hmm. rake up fast, yeah. so you feel like you're standing in, in front of... You know, you're standing in front of 23,000 people, but it feels like you're standing only in front of 10 or 12 and that they're right on top of you. And when we do the remodel for, for the American Family Insurance Amphitheater, it opens in 2020, mm -hmm. we're going to keep that seating feel to it, which will yeah, be good. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. That is cool. You've it's got beautiful. the Emerging uh, Artist Series, and that's really fun, too. A lot of people, uh, you know, they always say, like, yes, these big acts are amazing, but sometimes it's the little sideshows right. that really change, you know, your Pandora station or what may sure. be it. And a lot of these bands, uh, these bands are picked you know, through through various ways in, mm -hmm. in the Emerging Artist Series and in the afternoon, and people can vote for their winners. And we've had bands that play on other stages that have made it now, like Nathaniel Rateliff, who's in yeah. the amphitheater, ex-ambassadors who played. So it's a great, it's That's a great fun. thing to do. Mm -hmm. What about Latin Music Day? That's happening Sunday, July 9th, which is the closing day of Summerfest. Right. We do that every year on the Harley Davidson stage, and this year it's Dominic Marte and a few other acts, but it's a great night. Yeah, that's fun too. Hashtag throwback Thursday. How about yeah. that, huh? How about that? This is Fishbone, Slaughter, Foghat, all these great bands the at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Love it. And then we've got bands like Toto and a few others at night to headline. But what's cool about this, it's with Pick and Save. And if you go between now and June 13 and spend $50 in the store, on your receipt, it's printed that you can have four free tickets to that day at Summerfest. So you bring awesome. a receipt down there and you get in for free. Four it's people. so cool. All you have to do is spend $50 mm -hmm. and you get those four tickets for free. It's only, though, happening through June 13th right. that you can take advantage mm -hmm. of that at Pick and Save. Soul Asylum that night. Yep. And yeah, then it's, it's great. good for 
um, Thursday, June 29th is the right. throwback Thursday where people can mm -hmm. redeem those. And you do have to go in person to redeem the tickets with your receipt. Your receipt. Right. Mm -hmm. And every receipt has it on there between now and the 13th if you spent if you spend $50. And awesome. July 4th, is that uh, is, is, is it a big day? What we're trying to do with July 4th is we're going after a younger demo this year. So yeah. you've got the chain smokers in the amphitheater. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, Ishtar, who's this great hip-hop kid from Milwaukee, headlining on a stage. You've got Alicia Cara. You've got a yeah. lot of great bands, younger bands, younger demo. So that's going to be fun. Has yeah. it been good that you take that Monday break? Because Monday, uh, July 3rd, you're closed mm -hmm. that day. Is it, is it kind of a good day to regroup and to have that day off? Have you seen benefits from doing that? When we first started, we weren't sure. Mm -hmm. But now we all kind of like it. Yeah, it gives bet. you a chance to just take a little bit Breathe. of a break. Yes. Let, the let the grass grow a little bit, if you will. So Yeah. yeah. I think that's a great idea. I think it's wonderful. There's so much going on. Number mm -hmm. 50, Summerfest. About it's it, a huh? Big it's year. Huge. There's a lot of big acts that we went through. It's great to get a ticket. So remember to get your tickets or to um, pick up your receipt at Pick and Save through the 13th. So Summerfest, June 28th. They kick things off on a Wednesday. Um, then they go through July 2nd, close Monday the 3rd, then open back in, uh, opening back up July 4th through the 9th. You can go to summerfest.com to see the full list of acts um, that we mentioned and more. And Here's our exciting power pass we're giving away. Yeah, all yeah five, baby. As in 5 0, wins a Summerfest power pass today. It's good for admission all 11 days whoop, whoop. of the festival. It will get you in at any time during the day or none. Right. Call us right now, 414 799 4444. You're a lucky caller. I love five. you, Bob. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you down there. Absolutely. See you down there.